But we're also right in the middle of our high school football top 10 countdown. Next up on the list, one of the most successful programs in Pennsylvania history, which is entering a new era. Number seven, the Berwick Bulldogs. You play every play, every second, every minute like it's the last one. That was Carmen DeFrancesco back in 2014, the last time we saw him on the sidelines as a head coach. Five years after leaving Mount Carmel, he's back at Berwick. Coaching at, at Mount Carmel as an assistant coach in the 80s, we had a great, great rivalry. And then I, I became very close with Coach uh, Curry. He said I should apply in 2005 when he left. That wasn't the time. I believe that God has made this the time. And the time could be right for the Bulldogs to make a big leap. Bo Orlando has joined the coaching staff. The entire offensive line returns, and so does All-State athlete Tegan Wilk, plus quarterback Ryan Lawball. I'm very biased. In my in my head, I think we're a, a state championship team. So that's, I mean, every single bird football player probably you talk to, state championships, what you want. Our football team is very athletic. They're intelligent. They're smart. They're they have good they have good football instincts. Berwick is one of the most successful programs in Pennsylvania State history, but the Bulldogs have not won a district championship since 2013, so the challenge for this year's squad is how to get back to that level. Coach Carm, I believe he's, him and um, Coach Orlando are coming in with, you know, a hammer and they're trying to put so much discipline on us and stuff like that. We're just trying to, you know, be a, you know, district championship team, state championship team. An increased emphasis on discipline could push Berwick over the top. And the players are responding to Coach Carm's approach. We're running laps around the field, we're running suicides, we're running this and that, and he's putting us on a time crunch where some of them you're making it just by like hairs of seconds. You know, you're barely making that, but he just keeps pushing us to get better and better. Putting all that talent together and putting the discipline in, we're gonna win the district championship this year, no doubt about it. So here's where things stand now in our countdown. We've got Old Forge, Wyoming area, Lackawanna Trail, and Berwick. One more team to reveal this week. We'll have number six Friday night, and then next week our top five leading up to week one of the regular season.